Hey y'all, it's me, Janie, your acrylic paint pour girl. We are here today to do a bloom pour. Could be a layered bloom pour. We're just gonna see as we go what it turns out to be. This is a, oh, I didn't measure it. A 10 by, 10 by 20 canvas that's all prepped. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our base paint our pillow paint, which is white house paint diluted with water, all over this. Because when we blow, we gotta have some paint to blow over. So this is the boring part. You probably don't wanna watch it, but we're gonna do it anyway. And I might need more, so I may have to make some more paint. Once. It is not necessary to spin extremely fast when you're doing this. Okay, so I'm going to start out by making some leaves and then I'll put my flowers, my blooms, um, kind of around my leaves where they'll fit in better. Okay, so we're gonna start with some metallic olive green. And I'm gonna just do them kind of along the edges. I'm gonna kind of blow a half flower, if that makes sense. I gotta put her in there. Okay. Circles. I'm just making some circles. I'm thinking about leaves. Kind of a backgroundy. It may not look exactly like leaves, but it'll be kind of green in the background of all the flowers. I'm just going to go around, kind of make a border. We'll see how they come out. It's a big canvas, so we'll see what happens have someone who's interested in a canvas about this size. So, oh, I got a, I got a jujuts in here. I call him a booger. So we'll see if she likes this one. If not, we'll make some more. Again, this is a much larger canvas than I normally work with. I've done one other one this size. I can't go much bigger than this because, um, I don't have the space to spin one bigger than this yet, but I'm working on that. So I'm going to use a few different colors to make the leaves. Um, I'm, I'm going to start with this. And then I'm gonna see if I need to add. So that's my dark color. Now I'm gonna come with a lighter green. So let's do, oh, that's almost the same green. Let's not use that one. Let me find a darker green. Let's go ahead and use just a basic green. There we go. So we can get those dimensions of color. Sometimes I add gold, but I don't think I'm gonna add gold to this. Sometimes I add gray, but I'm using black as my cell activator. And I think this is gonna be plenty for the color variation of the leaves or the greenery or whatever we might wanna call it. So, I get my black cell activator now. And I'm just gonna cover it. Good. I'm 
probably going to blow it out towards the edges. So putting the black all over the middle is probably not the smartest move, but that's okay. No big deal. I use my world's smallest blower. I am not good at blowing this out with my mouth. All right. Hold your ears. We're going to try this. It's not the way I really wanted it, so I'm going to move it a little bit this way. I'm going to try something. Y'all bear with me. Because I'm trying to have color everywhere. It can look like a flower. It's going to spin off mostly. Come this way. It's, I'm not looking for perfection. I almost cannot do this without a spinner. Well, I can't do this without a spinner. You can't make balloons without spinners. This is kind of shaped like flowers, but it's really going to be background. Um, I'm not a pro at this by any means. See, these look like leaves and those look like flowers, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. I hate to just have paint sitting there and it's kind of not spreading, so I just spread it. As you'll see when we blow, this is all gonna kind of be the background to some flowers. I may add a few more. I may make them more leaf-like. But what I will do is I will spin it. So, five, 10. All right, hold on. So this is gonna help them spread, open them up. I did not spin that extremely hard. Now I'm gonna look at it. It's fallen off the way I want it to and I can come in and kind of make more circles out of that. So it'll look leafy. We're gonna go this way. I go both ways because it moves it one way and then it'll pull it back to the center. All right, so I like that it's fallen off. I am gonna use my straw for just a minute. You'll hear my crazy music, huh? <sighs> I'm 
some of them I don't like. I don't mind that one. These are darker because the black has fallen off of this side. All right, so I'm gonna leave that alone right now because I'll probably come back in and I'll add and make it look more leaf-like. So we're gonna start with some blooms. Now, I'm gonna use some colors that are maybe strange. So this is a teal and it's a metallic. Put it here. I'd like to do five, but let me start on my ends. I'm not always sure where to do my placements, so y'all bear with me. you got to change the music. Uh, I'm going to start with those four and then I'm going to fill in. So now I'm going to put a purple. It's kind of a violet or a plum. If y'all can see that, I'm going to add it right on top of the blue. Promise I'll add a fifth flower. I just have to blow it first to see where I want to put it. Hey, I might add a sixth and a seventh flower. You never know. Okay. That's my plum. This is teal and emerald or crystal green mixed together. They're both metallics. And I'm going to add some of that those are kind of the what I call the peacock colors love those colors right if, if I want my flowers to be bigger and thicker then I use more paint like I'm using right now much more than I normally use okay now I'm gonna come in with a what would I call this a uh, a raspberry like a pink raspberry a red raspberry I'm gonna stir it away from the painting this one's a little thinner than I normally use and I'm just gonna use a touch of it this one's mixed a little thin too much. Okay. 
and I want to come in with just a touch of red. This is garnet. Just a touch. Then I'm gonna put some gold and my cell activator, which is the black. I could use a lot of colors for my cell activator, but I wanna use black on this one. Okay, that's plenty. All right, now I'm gonna put some of my 24 karat gold. I'm gonna go around the edges with this. Again, I'm not perfect. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking to add a little color to it. Now we're gonna do our cell activator. Put a little bit more of this. Gotta make some more of this. Guess what we're gonna do next? We're gonna blow. All right, y'all bear with me. Start from the top. Move that black around. Now we're gonna make our flower. Oh, I think this one's gonna be lovely. We're gonna go right there over that green. This is layering. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. All right, let's go to this middle one. Go right over that green. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You go right in the middle. One didn't want to help me. Let's use my straw on that one. Sometimes I feel like I don't have enough paint. It kind of all sits in the middle. There we go. That's better. And I'm going to do this last one. Oh, I messed up the inside, but that's okay. I'll fix it. All right, let me take a look at this. Let me get my straw. want to make it more round. Sometimes when I blow, I get lots of white in there.
Okay, I'm gonna do a little modification. Let me blow one more right here. And I'm gonna modify it a little bit before I spin it. And then we'll add some more layers. We always wanna bring the white into the dark. And when you lift it, lift it carefully. This is what makes it look like petals. To a swirl, okay. We have a lot of white here to work with. See how the green background kind of doesn't look like flowers, so it, it kind of represents leaves. Okay, let's move on to this one. We'll do some more modifying after I spin. Go to the natural breaks in the petals. Okay, one more. Better if you have the white. Oh, that made a little cute little cha-cha of color. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a spin. I'm not giving it a hard spin. I don't wanna lose. Okay, go slower. Take a look. Oh, it opened up nicely. Oh, bug in here. Oh, bugs are a no-no. Got my fly swatted to kill that bug. Sorry. Okay. So, I definitely want another bloom here. I'm going to do a little one. I'm going to kind of do it right on top of this. Not as big as the other one, right? And that's what I'm hoping for. Sometimes I just put too much paint on my little popsicle sticks. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I talk to myself. Often, always and often. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of gold. And we're gonna blow. All right, go this way first. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on this one with the straw.
I'm trying to fill in some of the negative space because I like some of it, but not all of it. Let me get my little straw and fix this area. Aha, pretty. Go this way. There we go. I'm gonna uh, define this one. liking this. Let me go one time. And I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do a leaf here. I'm, I'm not going to put, I like odd number of flowers. Um, so I'm going to do a leaf here of some sort. In fact, I'll do it in a minute. I'm going to modify some. So let's just do... some leafiness there with that green and the black oh gosh don't let me ruin this one right okay we're gonna turn this one this way and we're gonna blow Bring a little bit out of it this way. Not too much. And I'm going to blow a little bit this way. And I'm gonna play to try to make it look like a leaf. So, I'm going to take it like that. This is modification, y'all. Mm, shouldn't have done it there. Sometimes there's not enough paint for me and I shouldn't have messed that one up. Just trying to make it a little leaf-like. Hmm. That one ain't working.
Well, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're not gonna mess with that anymore. No more blowing. Sometimes it needs a little definition in the middle. Sometimes it looks funny to me. Y'all, I love this. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to add anything else to it. Okay. So, I am going to give it just a little torch. See if I can get some cells to pop. Sit a minute. Got a big old piece of string here. Oh, this one was so much fun to do, y'all. I think it's so beautiful. Okay. Let me turn the big light off. Can y'all see it? Isn't it beautiful? Let's see if I can bring you in. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? I love it. No matter which way we turn it, it's beautiful. Can't see it all that way, huh? It's gorgeous. I don't know. Maybe like this, or maybe like this. It's beautiful always. Well, I thank you guys for watching me as always. Please follow J. Barisco Art, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. I'm everywhere. I appreciate y'all loving my art and watching it. I thank y'all for watching and go out and make it a great day. Bye.